Hello guys, welcome to Online Web Tutor presented by Profotic Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning WordPress WP List Table Tutorial for Beginners and this is our part 2. In this video session guys, we will discuss about that how can we use and set our basics of WP List Table in WordPress. And also guys, if you are a beginner to this channel then please don't forget to subscribe and keep watching our previous video sessions of several WordPress customization to get dive into deep about the core WordPress. Okay, so basically guys in our first part of this playlist we have discussed about the introduction, what is actually WP list table, we understand about the class files and all about its method as well as we have seen about the playlist ideas that what actually we are going to develop inside the whole playlist of WP list table. So if friend, if this is your first video of this channel, then I strongly suggest you to go to YouTube. Inside online web tutor, you could find actually several playlists of WordPress customizations. Okay, you can watch all videos from our YouTube channel. And also, if you want to download any of the code, then you just visit this GitHub link log or github.com slash OWTHub where we have created 14 repositories. You can download any type of programming coding that we did inside the whole playlist. You can download all the codes from this GitHub link. Okay, so if I scroll down, these are the playlists that we have developed so far. Okay, so in this video session guys, we are going to make a uh, use of WP list table. So basically in our previous video session, we understood about that what is WP list table. Okay, so basically this is the table actually we have seen is that this is not a data table. This is also not a simple table. This is a table actually WordPress default provides. So we are actually learning about the table structure that actually WordPress provides. We will cover all the playlist, all the functionalities of the WP list table such as call bulk action where actually we can select any of the options such as call sorting, such as call any of the like sorting ascending order and descending order and is a search option so many more and also we can actually implement about the pagination section okay so all these features we actually we want to implement instead of using data table because so far we did many times in our several playlists we actually use about the data table okay so we are not going to use data table inside the whole playlist of WP list table we are going to use the default feature of WordPress Okay, so basically in our first part we understand about the file structure of so if you go to root folder inside WP admin inside includes folder we have a file called class WP list table this is the file that actually we have seen in our previous video session okay so if we open this file in our native editor so just I'm going to open that drop here and now we actually seen about the class WP list table okay so we are going to inherit this class we are going to extend this class and by the help of this class we are going to use some of the methods actually it provides by the help of those methods we can make use of that table what we have seen inside this post section okay so simply first we have to make a plugin okay so just go to editor this is the folder guys that I have created called OWT list table okay this is the plugin folder right now it is not containing any file okay so just I'm going to create our first PHP file let's say that WP OWT let's say that list table okay this is called the main plugin file okay where we have to pass some of the plugin informations okay so let's pass some of the informations let's say that plugin name OWT list table okay also let's pass some of the description also so this is simple plugin for WP list table learning okay and also let's pass author it should be something called online web tutor okay so if I save this file go to browser just go to plugin section So this is the plugin that we have developed, okay, OWT list table, these are the information that we have passed. So just I'm going to click on activate button. So right now on activating, it is not going to perform any of the action because so far we didn't code anything about its functionality. Okay, so just back to editor, what we are going to do, we are going to do that after activation, we are going to add a sub menu inside this list. Okay, by the help of that menu, we can actually implement our WP list table. Okay, so just back to editor. So let's say that add action. Admin menu is the action hook basically used to attach our menus. Okay, and let's pass some of the callback functions. So WPL, OWT, let's say that list 
table menu okay so next we have to define this callback function so let's say function this is the callback function inside this callback function let's pass some dummy data so let's say that this is sample page okay so if I save that before saving why not we're going to make any of the menu sections so instead of this message let's say add menu page okay so inside this function this is a WordPress function okay so first parameter we have to pass the page title okay so let's say that OWT list table okay so just I want to copy this and paste as the second parameter which is called the menu title okay third we have to pass the capability manager that is called manage options okay so let's say manage options next we have to pass the slug so let's say the OWT let's say list table okay next parameter we have to pass called the callback function for this menus okay so WPL OWT list table function okay so just make copy of that we have to define this callback function so let's say function this is the callback function of our menu inside this callback function let's define a simple message okay so this is simple message okay so if I save that go to browser reload this page this is the menu that we have developed okay when I click on this link this is a simple message that we actually provided inside the callback function so next what we have to do we have to import the file called class WP list table the class file itself into our plugin file okay so this is the class that we are going to extend okay so first of all we have to include a file which basically responsible for that okay so let's make a folder inside our plugin so let's say views this is the folder basically contains all our views files okay so basically let's make a file called OWT table list dot PHP okay so inside this file first let's say this is simple message wrap this statement within h3 tag okay and now we are going to import this file first of all into our main plugin file okay so instead of this starting message let's say ob start we are actually using php buffer system okay so be in clean so let's include once basically we are going to include the PHP file that we have developed inside our views folder okay so include once let's say that plugin dir path this is a WordPress function guys basically gives you the path up to your plugins folder okay so just pass the parameter called file we have to go inside views folder okay inside this views folder because this is a function basically gives you the path up to your plugin okay inside this plugin we have to go inside this views folder okay so views inside this views we have to go and call the file called OWT table list dot PHP file okay so finally we have imported that file successfully so next we have to read all the contents of the buffer okay so for that we are going to use called ob gate contents function this is a PHP function so successfully we actually read the contents of this buffer okay so let me echo template okay so if I save that refresh this page so this is the simple message we have written inside this PHP file and successfully we have imported this file to our main plugin file okay so next about all the functionality of, of importing this class file also using all these methods of this class we are going to do all this functionality inside this file so first we have to import our class file okay so this is the class file that we have to import so basically we need to use called class WP list table we have to require this file inside this PHP file okay so just get rid of static message let's say PHP we are going to use called require once okay we are going to import the file actually this file okay so just get rid of that behind the scene I have written called require once this is absolute path or WordPress constant provides the path up to the project root folder okay so next we have to go inside WP admin inside we have to go inside includes folder okay and now this is the class file that we have to use okay inside this class file we have a class called WP list table okay so just I want to copy let's say that class next we have to define our own class okay so let's say that OWT list table class okay next we have to extend or inherit called WP list table basically this is the class actually coming from this file that we have imported okay so next 
inside this class means inside this block we have to define some of the methods of this class okay by the help of those methods actually we can make our own setup for wp list table so basically what are those methods okay so first we have to define actually the data set okay define data set for wp list table data okay this basically is the data okay next we have to define a function or a method of this and we have to override inside this class okay what actually method is method is called prepare item prepare items okay this is the next method that we have to use to bind all the data attributes with those variables okay next we have to define some of the columns for our wp list table means the tabular column names okay so basically we have to use called the get columns is the method okay we have to import this method inside this prepare items method okay so by the help of these methods actually we can make the layout system for our data table okay after these methods we have to use one of more method called columns default so let's see that column default okay so basically these are the some methods that we are going to use to make our wp list table okay and this is our data set so finally after using all these methods we actually use this class and now let's make a function called function owt let's say that list table layout okay so finally inside this function we are going to call this class that we have made okay so just copy that we have to make a instance of this class okay so let's say that owt list table okay by the help of new keyword we can actually make the instance of this class okay so finally by the help of this instance we have to call some of the methods called display and prepare items okay so first of all we have to call the prepare method prepare items method of this class okay so how can we call that so let's say that calling prepare items from class okay so how can we call so just copy this instance paste here and by the help of actually we can make the prepare items call okay so if I make this class or if I make this method so let's say public function let's say prepare items okay so basically this is the method that we are going to call inside this function okay so just let's copy and paste okay so prepare items actually prepare all the data sets for our data table okay and finally we have to display the layout okay so for that we are going to use called one of the method actually provides WP list table okay so there is the method called display Okay, so by the help of this display method guys, we, actually, we are going to show all the data actually prepared by this method to our WP list table. Okay, so by the help of this architecture guys, we can actually use WP list table in WordPress. Okay, so what are those steps that we have to follow? First, we have to import this file because we are going to extend this class and this class is available in this PHP file. Okay, second, we have to actually override or make use of some of the methods actually this class provides. What are those methods? We have to use called prepare items, get columns, and column default. Okay, about these methods, we will discuss in our later video session. So don't worry at all. Okay, basically, this is the whole concept that how can we set up our WP list table. So finally, if we done all these things, we have to use this class to our function. Basically, in inside this function, we have to make use of two functions separately called prepare items and display okay so finally we have to call this function here so this is the whole architecture to develop OWT list table so basically guys this is the whole concept that we are going to clear make clear understanding in our next video sessions okay where actually we will see about these methods as well as we will add call searching sorting and many more inside this WP list table okay and we are going to make use of all these methods and so all of our dynamic data inside this function okay so this is part two in which we have seen about the basics of WP list setup and how can we make use of these methods to display our data okay so in our next video session guys we actually we are going to feed some data and show all these data to our WP list table okay so if you have any query in this video session guys then please drop your comment I will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching have a great day